Hello. In this lesson we will review the creation of a matrix inventory item. A matrix item is a physical item that is essentially the same but with variations, such as an article of clothing that comes in various colors, sizes, or other variants. To create a matrix item, click Lists. Inventory. SuperTrack Inventory List Click on the new record icon At the Inventory Template field, click on the drop-down menu and select Matrix Now, provide a base or parent SKU item code This is sometimes called a style code This base code will serve as a prefix for all of the child item SKU codes so shorter codes are better. Then enter the basic item information such as the description, cost and pricing. Note that the matrix has not been defined. Click Save and the Matrix Inventory Wizard will begin. Then click Next on the Confirmation window to continue. Matrix Attributes define the variations for the product. A matrix must have at least one attribute. Click on the drop-down window of the Matrix Attribute 1. We will select size and the values will be listed. You can select the values, all at once. Unselect all of the values at once. Or you can select them one at a time. You can also edit the attribute values if needed. If you do not have a second attribute, uncheck the Use Attribute checkbox at the top. Otherwise, you can define it using the same procedures. We will select Color as the second matrix attribute. We will click on Edit Attribute Values and create a new value on the fly. Note that altering the attribute codes can cause significant consequences if those codes have been used on other products. If there is a third matrix attribute, Check Use Attribute 3 at the top and follow the same procedures for selecting matrix attributes. When finished selecting all of the needed attributes, click Next. SKU item codes will be created for all of the combinations selected. The parent SKU code will be appended with the matrix attribute codes to determine each item code. Here. You can uncheck certain combinations so that they will not be created. Confirm the accuracy of the items and click Next. If there are manufacturer UPC codes for each matrix item, scan or key them in. And click Next. Click Finish on the final confirmation screen. Manage More will now create the matrix items. The parent and child items will now be in the SuperTrack inventory list. If at any time changes need to be made, changing the parent item will cause the child items to also be changed automatically. Note that the change has applied to all the children items for the matrix. Changes can also be made to the matrix structure by selecting the parent item and clicking on the Edit Matrix Properties icon on the toolbar. You will be taken through the Inventory Matrix Wizard to make the desired changes.
When creating any transaction such as a purchase order, you can easily enter a parent item code and you will be prompted to select which children items you are ordering. To accept the selection, press the F10 key or click on the select icon at the top. You can define the attributes for products specifically used in your business. Click Lists. Inventory. Inventory related. Matrix attributes. Click the new record icon. It is often necessary to create a color scheme specific to a manufacturer. Key in the attribute type. Select or type in the manufacturer ID. Next, enter the attribute code. As shown earlier, this code will be appended to the parent SKU to create the unique item code. The code can be letters or numbers, but it is recommended that you use numbers only for easier data entry. Enter the description for this value. If desired, enter the price adjustment value. This value will adjust the price for this particular attribute value only. The active option can be set to inactive if you no longer wish to use this value. Now, when a matrix item is created for this manufacturer, their specific color names can be used. Click Save to finish. And exit. This completes the lesson on matrix inventory items. Congratulations!